Okay, so we're going to go over the pencil technique first. You need any colored pencil. Remember, black, white, gray are not colors. They are neutral in art. So, cannot be black or gray. And white won't show up, so it won't do any good anyway. So it needs to be a color. Okay, so your name should be on this page and your number, period, and date. Side. You need to have a sharpened pencil, and you're going to lay it on its side like this. So if you want to figure out how to hold this, open your drawing hand, place the pencil in there about like this so that the tip of the pencil is on your pointer finger. Gently wrap your fingers around it so you can hold it on its side. And you lay it down. You don't have to do a lot of pressure. Just kind of lay it down on its side. And you should not see any lines then. It should just be a nice, smooth value. Zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little better. So it's just a nice, smooth value there. All the way across. That side. Heavy, you can take, go back to drawing, holding your pencil like you normally do, and press heavy. Color it in heavily. You can go back on top of it and make it even heavier. So this is taking more pressure. Light is using the tip again, and you're just lightly coloring it in. So you should be able to see lines on here, no lines that back up here on the side, though. Um, scumble is circle, almost like a scribble. So just a bunch of little circles. The more circles you overlap, the darker it's going to get. The fewer circles you use, the lighter it'll be. Hatching is parallel lines. So, they might be diagonal and straight, they might be wavy, so they're parallel though. It doesn't matter what kind of lines you make, as long as they are parallel, or close to parallel. This is art, they don't have to be perfect. Cross hatching is with two sets of parallel lines. Two sets of parallel lines. So I'm going to go this way first, and then I'm going to cross them the other way. The more lines I put, the darker it's going to get. The fewer lines I put, the lighter it's going to get. Same with hatching. The more lines I put, the darker it gets. The fewer lines I put, the lighter it gets. They don't always have to be diagonal. They might be, just like I showed you before, wavy and then straight, or they can all be wavy. There's all kinds of combinations you can do with those. Okay, so that's pencil line techniques. Okay. Marker. Any color marker you want, I don't care which, as long as it's a color, not black, white, or gray. Okay, so scumble. Scumble, just like in pencil, is circles. So. Kind of like scribbling. It's just one continuous line of circles. The more lines you put, the more circles you put, the darker it's going to look. The bigger circles you make, the lighter it looks. Hatching is just like in pencil. It's parallel lines. Cross-hatching, just like in pencil, two sets of parallel lines. The fewer the lines you make, the lighter it gets. Pointillism. Pointillism is a bunch of dots. So, 
Now, when you go to do pointillism, you don't want to smash your tip. So instead of raising my whole arm to make my dots, I'm just going to lift my hand, my, my hand just a little bit. So I'm moving my, bending my wrist, and I'm just to give it a light tap. Shouldn't be a pounding noise. The more dots you put together, the darker it's going to get. Don't smash it, just lightly let it touch the paper. The fewer dots you make, the lighter it gets. And if you get a few little lines in there, well, try to make dots, but if you don't, that's okay. Pointillism. Think about point. A point, a dot. A point is a dot. Okay. So that is your marker techniques and your pencil techniques.